presentation. Um, thank you, Howard, and where he is somewhere. Uh, there you are. Thank you for the invitation to be here. It's, I'm so impressed, Daphne, in the morning here to see such a such a huge crowd uh, of people of Daphne, men and women. And uh, this, this is a tribute uh, to the religious leadership and the lay leadership of this shul. And for me, it's a wonderful opportunity to come uh, to come in from the city. Sunday morning, we have a nice minion, maybe 20 people. I think I saw today at least 150 people or so, and I believe there are a few minions, so it's so nice and uh, wonderful feeling, especially when it comes to the uh, preparation for the uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, I would like to uh, go right into the uh, subject and uh, I was, uh, when we were discussing what I should uh, talk about and sing about, <clears throat> that um, uh, to put so many components into the talk that I'm about to say, whether it is a tribute to Eli, to Eli Wiesel or the Padre Muschaot and some Nigunim for Yom Kippur. In the past, we had a program about Rosh Hashanah, so when we were talking, we, I said, okay, let's, let's concentrate more on Yom Kippur. There is so much uh, to say and to sing and to understand in terms of Tfila, in terms of Musa, in terms of, of how one should govern. And I am not talking now about pure Chazanut, the, 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 the profession, but uh, I always tell my students that before you ever try to be a Chazan, you have to be about Fila. You have to be fully versed with Nusa. Because if you're not about Fila and you don't know how to daven, you'll never be a chazan. Oh yes, you can sing uh, a, a piece that you listen uh, from a record, including the scratch. Some of them, they, 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 they sing and you can hear a scratch because they think that that's part of the piece. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, on a more serious uh, uh, point of view, it's extremely important that Musa of Fila, and I will demonstrate a few of them uh, as we go along. <coughs> what I will do is, before I get to Asawa Aroge Malchus, uh, which is right after the Avodah, or some of them said that it's part of the Avodah, uh, I will then talk about Eli, because in Asawa Aroge Malchus, about all the pogroms and everything, I think somehow we'll find the a, a point where we can connect Eli to the whole thing. First of all, the goal of the Shliar Tzibu on Yom Naroim. I think by now it is clear, the Rabbi already referred to it as far as the Shofar is concerned, and of course it is the Amlo Yichradu, I mean the Shofar should shake us up. But the uh, Fila, the Shliar Tzibu on Yom Naroim is the one, very much, with the shofar to, to create this kind of an atmosphere in this tefillah where people should suddenly feel that they are praying, that there is nothing else in the world, there is only tefillah, there is only Yom Kippur, there is only Kodesh Baruch Hu, and it is us asking for a good year. And that um, here is what it is. To, to know the Nusach, to understand every word that at least what the Shliar Tzibur says loud. Because the issue of Iyu and Tfila, the issue of understanding the meaning of every word is a mitzvah that we say every morning in the Mishnah of Peah and the, the, the uh, there is no end to it. It is a mitzvah that is a continuous mitzvah, especially for somebody who is about Fila. And so I would urge, well, I'm sure there are ballet fila, a lot of ballet fillers here, but also people who, are, who love the issue and the concept of Fila to, to look at the machzor and to see what goes in, in that machzor. Whether it is, for example, in, um, well, 
call Nidre and uh, the, the, the PU team, and then in the morning all the, the Tfilot, the Avoda, for example, to understand what was going on in the Besa Mikdash with the Kohen Godot, in the Avoda. This is an amazing, imagine this, this unbelievable scene, this unbelievable atmosphere, and we, the Shlichei Tzibu, express that in our Tfilah, and I will attempt here and there to show you, to show, not to show you, because I'm sure many of you, or most of you know, but how, at least how I do it, so that it would create this kind of an atmosphere of awe that we, re we are required to create for <coughs> our congregation. I wanted to start with Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre, basically, it, it, what is it? It's a legal document. We annul the vows. Fine. I don't want to go into the meaning of it. We have enough lawyers here, I'm sure, <coughs> and we all know that feeling. What always created in my mind is the question of the relationship between the melody, the nusach, the nigun of Kol Nidre, and the text. Again, as I said, the text is a, is a cold legal document. And when we listen to the Kol Nidre, when we sing it, it's a sad melody based on three musical scales. And I'm not going to become too technical. But we have in the music of the synagogue three main scales. Three. One we call the Friedish, one is a minor scale, and a touch of a major scale also, all to interpret the text. And when we sing, They said that they were against the whole idea because we charatna, yes, but it, it, it's, it's not really that, that from the heart we are getting, we try to annul it. And then 
אליסט, וכתבו שאין נוהגים לא בישיבות ולא בכל מקום להתיר נדרים, לא בראש השנה ולא ביום כיפורים. And then some of them said that it was a, even a min hakshtus, and I'm just quoting the encyclopedia and there are, of course, uh, explanations to it. And they conclude, it's not the lashon ataras medorim, ela belashon shel bakashat rachamim. This is exactly, it's almost what I had in mind uh, with, before I saw it. Ela belashon shel bakashat rachamim, a kodesh bochu, sheyislach, im avu beshogeg, o beones al medorim beesorim shvues. In other words, we ask the Rebona Shalom to forgive us, not only to annul, but to forgive us in case we made a mistake when we made a nether. which I think is a beautiful thing. That explains why the music of Kol Nibre is such a sort of a sad music. As I started singing before, Kol Nibre Vesarvei Dai, 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 Oh 